What's up, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, per usual, we're going to do our expected move. We're going to talk about uh, just the markets in general. Uh, so we'll look at, I'm actually going to add in Amazon and Tesla in this one. Uh, but we're going to look at, you know, the Russell, the NASDAQ, the S&P. See what their expected move is for the week. Uh, we had the open already. As far as the week goes, there's our open. We got a, a little bit of a drop down. We're basing on now. So first 15 minutes down, a little bit of a gap down. Uh, trading view fills in that candle. Uh, and then just kind of kind of nothing last week was a holiday week. It was a short week uh, from 4th of July Should be right. Yeah, I hope so Why does that feel so off saying that? Uh, so this would be uh, again a, a full week. We'll see where the, the volumes at the volume last week did seem a little bit light uh, And we did rally we had actually a pretty decent rally uh, so from last week uh, We just went zone to zone. So we dropped back down. We did tag that zone uh, and then just zone to zone from yellow to yellow the blue speed bump zones is what I call them uh, Just for that reason I, like this did exactly when I talk about a trade going zone to zone This is almost as perfect as I can explain it like here comes the turbulent area if I expect some resistance It's gonna be right around there uh, and we did we just hit that type one part Here's the type two here. There's some sellers here in both these areas uh, and then we just kind of continued on hit here Now these are done on the four hour daily. This is more like an hourly time frame um, so I'm actually hoping we just reject out of this because uh, I am short but I, I was really the expected moves this is actually something we're going to talk about on the Don Fran show when I uh, go live here in a little bit on, on that channel uh, if you don't know you're on Don Fran trading just pre-recorded videos short sweet to the point Don Fran show live streams where you can get a little ADD but I like to talk to you guys in, in the comments I like to create that conversation uh, as far as the open goes, I'm not worried or panicked. Uh, I am short. My short positions are, are red. Uh, but uh, also not popping any bottles. Sorry, that's where I was going with that. Uh, as far as this red open, uh, there's a lot of time before the market opens tomorrow. One thing I did notice uh, a lot is the fact that a lot of things pushed up into a zone. Uh, I want to say Amazon did as well. We're just right there. Uh, what Tesla push up into? Right into a zone. Uh, Facebook's coming out of a weekly one. I know that. But there's also this horizontal play right here on, on Facebook or Meta. Uh, I'm not sure what Google did. Google went past it. There was... I can't remember the other one. I was looking through and I thought there was quite a few. Uh, maybe it was Microsoft. NVIDIA. So if you look... It kind of makes sense naturally we would reject from these zones then that's enough weight to bring the, the markets down and then kind of we just head back down we continue our bear trend getting above that though I'd probably have to switch gears so I'm gonna I, I don't rush come Monday morning I'll let the banks sit down get their coffee let everyone get energized and then jump in uh, but I, I gotta say uh, now my puts are expiring in August I have plenty of time to be uh, right or wrong on this uh, but like a couple members in my group, they were short the 380 spies, so they tagged out, got back in the 390s. I'm in the 385, so I'm just kind of holding it regardless. I want to see where we go. Uh, I gave it room and time just for this. Uh, so I'm not crazy in that when you hear that I'm in a short position and it's red. Uh, if there's any rant there, it's just the fact that allocation, risk management. Uh, you know, just throwing a position out there and saying, we'll see where we're at, it's not risk management. You probably have better luck listening to some of the ding dongs in the comments. You know, uh, your account will ultimately both end up looking the same. Uh, but you know, uh, so let's jump to it. What we do? IWM. We just jumped right to the expected move last week. QQQ. We got just outside of it. I, I did not turn the bot back on. Why did Spy not save? Um, I remember Spy wasn't nine. I thought it was like nine fifty on the dot. Okay, so nine, 50, do we really stay underneath it? Come on, there we go, close enough. So I guess we just hit it on Friday. Uh, so stay within there. One, ah, man, I might turn the bot on next week. I wanted to sit these couple weeks out. So far, I've been just right. Uh, so let's look at it this week as a matter of fact. Let's bring up TOS. Uh, Amazon. 
Why does that look weird? Amazon. Oh, Amazon is expecting a five dollar. I was like, well, am I on IWM? I forgot Amazon sucks now because it's split. Well, Amazon's expecting a five dollar move. <laughs> it's Tesla. Whoa, hang on. All right, Tesla. Sorry if that was loud for you guys. Tesla's expecting a fifty-two dollar move. Uh, fifty-two, fifty-eight. Hang on, let me just grab the other ones. Spy. I do have some positions in here, um, but not not bot trades. Nine fifty-six. Nine thirty-eight. Five fifty. Okay, I can remember those. Was Tesla fifty? What sixty-eight? That's gonna be the interesting one. Uh, with the Twitter deal going south. Man, I hate when it does that. All right. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, someone said the whole Twitter deal puts, he said it puts a, uh, about $150, I forget who I was watching. He says that's $150 per share, just like overhang. So like if they were to just take that off, we would just instantly put 150 bucks right back onto Tesla. Uh, I didn't actually instantly reject that, uh, opinion. Um, uh, didn't sound silly, but it will be interesting to see how, uh, how Tesla plays out. We've kind of been... We had this pennant pattern playing out, right? So we had like uh, some lower highs coming in, some higher lows. So we'll see how that uh, that shakes out and breaks out this week. Uh, you know, this is on the daily. If we go to the extended hours, that's after the Twitter news dropped, so it did jump up. All right, let's talk about it. All right, spy was nine fifty six, which is actually less. So last week was nine fifty, but we were short a day. This is uh, nine fifty six with all five days, so we're actually pricing in. A quieter week. Got to have myself. Close enough. Nine thirty-seven. This one's. I'm curious if we continue this rally this week. I think a lot of people are thinking that. Uh, a couple people have actually texted me that some other YouTubers are talking about it, uh, and they always want my opinion on what these other YouTubers say. And I gotta say, it's not to be mean. Uh, I watch other YouTubers because I don't listen to the radio. Uh, I don't actually care for their opinion. It's just background noise, and on the weekend, I, I'm not. I don't need background noise. I have, I have three daughters, <laughs> so I don't know or care what the other YouTubers are saying. Uh, no matter how great or silly I think it is, just irrelevant right now. Um, I I don't like letting other things influence my uh, decision or my opinions either. So that's more during the week. And if it wasn't for the following, I had to ask me questions about all these other YouTubers. I'd probably never, never watch them. It all started when uh, Jeremy from Financial Education, he would post something about a ticker. Man, and then everyone would ask me my opinion on it. I wouldn't even need to watch Jeremy's video to know what ticker he's pumping on his channel. I was like, well, let me just start watching these guys so I can be ahead of the curve. Like, luckily, that's actually all calmed down. I don't think he's been, not, not that he hasn't been right. It's just that it's a, it's a bear market and those people only buy. Um, all right. So as far as the week goes, if we're looking at the expected move, these are not support and resistance levels. Uh, again, you have to understand what these are. I do have it in my playlist on on what these actually are. Uh, again, this is where algos get turned on. This is where work needs to be done. Uh, Outside these is where the volatility actually picks up. Um, but if you were to look at these visually, it's kind of like, hey, we're going to make a high. If we stay inside this, we're pricing in a um, actually a higher high or a higher low. Uh, which, hop over to the Don Front Show. Let's talk about that right now, as a matter of fact. Um, I'd be very careful with that thought process. We got monthlies expiring this 
this week. Uh, we got a lot of options contract with a lot of money on the table. And that table's about to get wiped clean come Friday. Uh, you know, you ever see the, uh, the craps table at a casino just loaded with chips and the guy just rolls a seven and they just swipe that thing clean. Uh, now the question is, how can the casino keep all your chips? Uh, who's got more to the up or the downside? Who gets taken advantage of? Do they send it up or down and play with your emotions along the way? All the games that can be played. You've heard a lot about these games from the, uh, the apes. They call it manipulation. Others just call it, that's how it works. Uh, but once you understand that, you can actually just use it, play it just like everyone else. Um, anyway, I'll wrap it up here. I'll see you on Don Front's show, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.